suppose you have a report and you have a uh, certain filter criteria, but you want your user uh, to be able to enable or disable these filter criteria. And uh, let's see how to achieve this. It's really easy and fun. So here is my data and it has three columns, nothing special. And I'll create a filter out of this. And I want a filter of all this data where the sum is greater than five. 100, 500. Okay. Now I have this data. I will bring my formula a bit to the right. Uh, next, uh, what I want to achieve, I want to enable or disable this filter, and I also want to add another criteria. Let's say is active equals true. So it will only bring active members which have the sum uh, greater than. Uh, greater than some certain number, in our case, five, uh, 500. Of course, we may also use special uh, extra cell with this number, 500. But I also want to enable or disable uh, filter. So, uh, disable active, active filter. Yeah, disable active, active, I misspelled it, I guess, yeah. I want to also check my spelling. Yeah, and next uh, our checkbox will be disable greater than 500, like that. And I will add a couple of checkboxes here and here. Insert checkbox and we'll copy it here. Right, like this. So now I have my checkboxes, so I have visually represented and I can now adjust my formula. I use uh, brands to make this, uh, this condition work, always work, and plus, plus these. So if this is true, then we will disable this filter. Uh, let's check it out. When I click this, I disable my filter number one. And the same, the same thing is here. That's the trick. That's the whole trick. Plus this. Okay. Now I can disable both filters. Uh, in this case, I'll repeat my initial table. The user will see all rows from the table. And when I click on this, I enabling a filter. Also, I can do uh, something like enable filter. Enable here and enable here. But what we need to do, we need to create another function not outside these checkboxes. Okay, not this and not this. Now, where the, these are not clicked, but if I click, I enable filter. So I get vice versa operation.